Hello and welcome to my channel, Nicola Yoga. My name is Nicola. So we're going to do some work today on the toes and the feet. So by request from one of our lovely subscribers. So, do you have your water available? Hope you're in something comfy. You may need a strap. Um, if you don't like straps, that's okay too. You don't have to use them. I used to actually really not like them at all, so that's okay. You may need blocks, depending on where you are in your practice. Now, for the most part, I don't use blocks very much at all when I go to a regular yoga class. However, they are really good in a yin practice. So, do whatever you need. If you don't like the blocks, that's okay. It really doesn't matter. It's all a choice in yoga. So we are going to start today in a legs up the wall pose and doing a little bit of toe stretching in the Parita Karani. So I'm going to take the hips so they're right up against the wall. So keeping a nice bend in the knees, maybe a 90 degree angle. Bring the hands back to support you as you take the legs literally up the wall. And then from here, dig into the heels and shimmy shake your hips as far back to the wall as your body will allow you to go. And then just rest in. Starting off with relaxation, arms come away from the body, palms facing up and open to receive. Now if you want to have a little bit of a pelvic release, you can also put the block on its flattest end underneath your pelvis so if you press into the feet against the wall and then bring the block underneath your pelvis and that will just release the hips release the pelvis just giving yourself what you need again if that doesn't feel right for you and your body you can release the block again press the feet into the wall and lift off the block so from here we're going to do that toe stretching. Just allow the shoulders to settle in first. Allowing the shoulders to come back and down. Allow the relaxation in the abdomen. Releasing the diaphragm, releasing the lower body. Releasing the abdominals. And allow the energy to come back to the hips giving ourselves a little energy boost here. Take a few rounds of breaths, grounding into your practice. Letting go anything you may have brought with you to your mat today. Nice long deep breaths as you settle in. And then from here, for about five rounds of breath, we're gonna ground into the heels we're going to spread the toes out, raising the toes off the earth as you ground into the soles of the feet. So the big toe mound and the baby toe mound, spread out the toes and then plant the toes down. And then curl the toes as if you're gripping the toes to the wall. Just like you would grip the toes to your mat, but we're doing it on the wall. Now you should feel a stretch in the toes tops of the feet and the arch support. Exhale, bring the toes back. Point the toes towards the nose. Exhale, press into the wall. Curl the toes and feel the pads of the toes pressing against the wall. Inhale as we spread the toes back, curl up. Exhale, round in. Now I'm not going to take you too deep here because this is quite a deep toe stretch so only go as your body will allow you to go. Hug the knees in towards the chest and from here if you are on the block still you can press the feet into the wall, raise the hips up slightly and then take that block over to the side and allow the lower back to come down to the earth slowly on the exhale. Keeping the knees hugged in towards the chest, let the, the toes towards the nose and then lift the legs up. 
So keeping the legs away from the wall this time, allow the hips to become heavy, coming back to the pelvis, and then just flex the toes towards the nose and point the toes. So we're doing an Achilles and arch support stretch here. Inhale, toes towards the nose, exhale, point. Keep going, flexing the calves, keeping that micro bend in the knees, and breathe. And then hug the knees in towards the chest. Raise that right arm overhead as you roll over onto that right side. Take a breath here. Plant down into the hands as you come up, coming onto the knees. Now from here, we're just gonna swing the legs around and come onto the soft glutes. Shimmy shake those soft glutes away from the earth. And how as we guide the hands up over head, keeping a micro bend in the knees, flex the toes towards the nose as you slowly, slowly come down. And if your hands reach your toes, then you can give yourself a toe stretch here. So gentle pressure on the toes, not going too deep, and stretch the toes back towards the nose. Shoulders pull back and down. So in Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. And just like you would press down against the earth, keeping that equal weight in the toes with the palms of your hands. Breathe. Shoulders pull back and down, engaging through the glutes. Nice long deep breaths. Maybe your elbows will rest on your calves or by the sides of your calves. Anytime you need to release, listen to your body, not going too deep. Your choice. And then slowly come up. Bring the hands by the side of your hips. And just give yourself a little energy boost, shoulders pull back and down, grow tall in the spine, tuck in the chin, coming into Dandasana or seat stuff pose. And then exhale as you bend into the knees, roll over to one side and coming through downward facing dog. So we're going to bring the fingers to 12 o'clock, four fingers to 12 o'clock, hands underneath the shoulders not dumping in the shoulders, so engage here with a micro bend in the elbows. Elbows face towards each other. Extend the neck long as you engage the core, curl under the toes, knees are underneath the hips, and start to press into the toes as you slowly, slowly, slowly come up through downward facing dog. So taking the hips up towards the sun. And then bring that right knee in towards the chest, keeping the knee in line with the hip, ankle in line with the knee, and equal pressure between the baby toe and the big toe. Breathe. Exhale as you bend into that left knee, doing the same thing on the left side. So keeping a micro bend in that right knee, Again, ankle in line with the knee, knee in line with the hip on that left side. Breathe. Inhale as you pedal out the feet. Maybe gaze forwards now and just feel into that stretch. And if you feel gentle cracks, we're just warming up the joints of the ankles. And breathe. Again, not forcing the body into a position that it's not ready to go in. Inhale, come into stillness, bringing the feet in slightly. And if your heels come down to the earth, that's okay. And if they don't, that's okay too. Listening to your body. Then from here, we're just going to, small movement, come up onto the soles of the feet. And then press the heels back down. Inhale, come up onto the soles. Exhale, back down. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale as you slowly, slowly, slowly walk up your feet to meet your hands. Holding onto opposite elbows and just rock from side to side. Stretching out the shoulders. Release the neck, release the shoulders. And releasing any tension here that you may still be experiencing from your day. Rocking the elbow from side to side, stretching out that side body, the waist. Keeping those bends in the knees. And as you bend to the opposite side, you may need to bend into the opposite knee just a little bit more deeply. Keeping that micro bend in the other knee. And breathe. Slowly come back to stillness. And then inhale as you release the hands, spread the arms out wide, engage through the feet, spread out toes, plant the toes down, engage through the legs, engage through the heels, keeping a micro bend in the knees, engage the thighs, tuck the pelvis, as we curl up, engaging the core, zipping up from you, Uliana Bunda, from the pelvic floor right up to the start of the ribcage. Extend the arms out to the sides, shoulders pull back and down, tuck in the chin and breathe. Three breaths here. And then from here, hands are going to come to the hips. Inhale, again we're going to come up onto the toes, onto the pads of the toes and the soles of the feet. So trying to keep equal balance between the big toe mound and the baby toe mound. And if you fall out, that's okay too. That's how we learn to stay in. Exhale, so release the heels down. Inhale as you bring the hands to the crease of the hips. Set up your drishti or gaze about five or six feet ahead, depending on how tall you are. Something that's not moving. Again, inhale up onto the soles. Exhale, back down. Again, inhale up. Exhale, down. Keep going. Only doing as many as your body will allow you to do. And if at any time you feel sharp pain, please release out of the pose. Come back to standing mountain. Breathe. So ideally, your ankles are in line with the knees, knees are in line with the hips. Because if you splay out like this, that's not great. So only staying up as long as your body will allow you to do so. Exhale, release. Inhale, back up. Shoulders pull back and down. Exhale, release. So keep that core engaged. will help your ankles to stay in line with your knees, knees in line with the hips. Keep that core engagement, keep that focus facing forwards. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. Last one. Okay, so from here we're going to bring the feet out to mat distance apart. I'm going to inhale the hands up overhead. Exhale as you come down, bring the hands to heart centre and come into a lovely yogi squat. Maybe walk the feet side to side or maybe stay in stillness and come forward slightly. Allowing that nice angle with the feet so the big toes are facing out. Now you may want to go a little bit wider depending on how open your body is. Find where sits right for you and your body. Bring the thumbs back to the sternum, press into the elbows or upper arms into the thighs. Feeling a nice opening in the hips. Now if you wish, you can come up onto the tippy toes again and back down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. 
Exhale down. And breathe. Last one. And release. From here we're going to bring the fists behind the hips. Extend the legs out long. No, actually we're going to bring the heels in towards the midline. <laughs> Just testing you. Okay, so bring the hips, sorry, fists behind the hips. Maybe shoot the hips forward slightly. However, if you feel an ouch, then shoot them back. Again, listening to your body. Breathe. So we're in bound angle pose. Now from here, you can ground into the outside edge of the foot. So the posterior side of the foot. And maybe just take the thumbs and give yourself a nice self massage of the foot. I am a reflexologist, so I suggest you just do this with your thumb pads, not so that your nail touches. So we're just getting the pad here and just gentle pressure or as much pressure as your foot will allow. And just doing the same on the Big toe as we inch warm up the toe. And doing all the toes maybe. And then working on the sole of the feet. All around the chest area. And then working on the bridge of the foot, which is relatively to your upper and lower abdominals. And then the base of your foot, so your heel. And breathe. And then just repeat that on the other side, so same thing. So maybe inch warm up the toe. And then the little toes around the the sole of the foot, which is our lung area. And then the upper and lower abdominals at the bridge of the foot. And then the heel. Now you can do this as long as you wish. In a reflexology session, it's normally about an hour. However, we obviously don't have all that time today. However, when you have time, maybe you could do that yourself. So maybe getting your hands and twisting the toes just gently, not too deep. Feeling into what your body needs. Breathe. And then slowly from here just giving yourself as the thumbs massage the bridge. Just little circles here. And then we're just going to come back to stillness and linking the hands together, bringing the hands about an inch back from the baby toe. Inhale, grow tall in the spine. Shoulders pull back and down. Extending the crown up to the sun. And breathe. Allow the knees to fall out to the sides. Nice long deep breath, engaging through the sit bones. Maybe float the eyes closed or rest with your gaze about two or three feet ahead. Your choice. And then if you wish to, to finish in supine butterfly, feel free to do so. You can finish right here. So reach the arms out long, 
if you want to stay a little bit longer, shoulders pull back and down. An engagement of the core as you exhale, slowly come down. And shoulders come away from the ears. Taking the arms out to the sides, or maybe resting with your palms on your crease of your hips. Taking a nice long deep breath, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale and exhale. Feeling all the points of your body resting on the surface beneath you. Feeling supported as you settle into stillness and find peace in your practice. Slowly rocking the head from side to side, waking up the body. As you bring the hands to the outside of the thighs, bringing the knees back together. Hug the knees in towards the chest. Coming into double wind relieving pose. Flex the feet. And then point the feet as you take the knees away from the body, hug the knees in towards the chest on the inhale, toes towards the nose, exhale, point the toes and take the feet away from the body, knees away from the body. Exhale in, inhale, exhale. And then bringing the hands to the hamstrings, we're just going to rock and roll back up to seated, massaging out the spine. And then coming into whichever seated pose speaks to you. So that can be easy cross-legged Sukhasana. Just like so, you can have your legs out long, whatever works for you. Or you can come into half lotus, which would be your heel in towards one hip. Or you can come into full lotus as both heels come into both creases of the hips. Now this is quite deep, so if you're not in... Padmasana, that's okay too, Lotus. In how you bring your backs of your hands to your knees or thighs, wherever that rests on your body for you. Engage through the sit bones, grow tall in the spine, shoulders pull back and down, tuck in the chin, and feel like your crown's extending up to the sun as you engage through your sit bones. And breathe. Sealing off our practice. Hands come to heart center, coming into prayer or namaskar, pressing the palms together, pressing the fingers together, inhale and exhale, let it all go. May you be healthy, may you be safe, may you be peaceful, may you awaken to the light of your one true nature. Namaste. Now if you are in half lotus or full lotus, I would expect you to unfold the legs if you're going to bow down. Other than that, that is the end of our practice. I hope you enjoyed this flow. Please let me know 
if this helps you, if you have issues with your feet, I'd love to hear feedback from you or anything else that you may suggest that you need for you and your body or to connect the mind, body, spirit. Let me know what you're looking to get out of your practice. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, that is the end of our flow today. And I'm just trying to find my, my little digital thing to turn myself on. Please enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. Namaste.